we've got. I can tell you it's very moving and sophisticated, so be on your best behavior, because it's unbelievably unbe sophisticated. I mean, very sophisticated. Well, in the next half hour, you're in for a gorgeous time. I mean, this show is complex, charming, but besides that, it's won awards in Cannes, in Bolton Glass, uh, Dubai, Waterford, and Leicester. Well, I think it's in the greatest 30 or 40 shows that we have on RTE. It's called Soupy Norman, so how about a big welcome now for Soupy Norman. Soupy Norman is an Irish drama. It tells the story of a young girl who leaves a small town for the bright lights of the big city. The big city is exciting, but full of danger. Granted, when you speak of the dangers up in Dublin, what exactly are you talking about? Princess, I tell you, if you promise to forget what I say as soon as I say it, erase it from your little blonde head. Oh, I'll okay. do my best. Up in Dublin, they have things called buses. Big yokes with wheels. Big, long things called buses with wheels. Leaving home ain't easy. And it sure ain't easy on them you leave behind. Jesus, I hope Hester's all right up in Dublin with all those weirdos. Did you hear what I was saying to you? Are you gone deaf with the soup? What did you say? As it turned out, Esther was doing just fine. You know I used to represent Mother Teresa of Calcutta? Mm. How is she? She's long gone now, of course, but... Uh, look, I keep her skull over there as a memento. My Mother Teresa memento. Supi Norman is also the story it's, of a it's man, right, it's Norman. a man of standing in the community. My name's Supi Norman, as you well know. A man of standing in the community. Every community has its heroes, and what heroes represent are the hopes and dreams of ordinary people all over the world, just like you and me. Not many people know this, but Supi was born in a, a Cork. It's set in the hilarious village of uh, Botovent, 13 kilometres from anything. Here to give us tuppence worth, your biggest welcome, please, for Mr. Jimmy McGee. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Stupid tree. It's calm. Sit there. Thanks for being here. My goodness, I much prefer Gable. <laughs> well, <laughs> he had it all, Pat. Yeah, well, You're that. Yes. But Burn had it up here as stop, well. Stop. Uh, wh what I mean is, allow me to ask you my specially prepared questions on Soupy Norman. If you don't mind, tell me this. I don't mind telling you this. Soupy Norman is genius for a number of reasons. How so? The way it depicts country people. Uh, rural types? Yeah, and um, nobody belonging to me has any time for them whatsoever, because they're stupid. They're very boring and simple and stupid. And I have no time for them. I actually remember a woman uh, shouting, Bye bye, black sheep. She stopped me there during the commercial break and she said, Do you know that as a woman, I'm always uh, mooing and cock a doodle doing and, and baaing and, and performing all the sound of the farmyard because they're the sounds I'm most familiar <laughs> with. I mean, I mean, sh she's living in Backwardsville. It sounds like a woman from the 50s. Mad, isn't it? Oh, that'd be cold cheese for you. Would you fight one? I would. Really? No. I don't blame you. Where did all this come from? No Jim? idea. But I've got a lumpy floor. One of them culchies crap sleepy heads in them lady for me. Mm, fell into the cement. Okay, you've chosen some clips. Let's have a look. Culchies. Sick of them. They've big culchy heads on them. Coming up here to gloat about how well they're doing. Here comes one of them now. Tippered early. Comes here every week. Posting about his big deals. Thinks he's great, so he does. Listen to this shit. How are you doing, boys? You like the wheels? She's an 07, not bad from a fella from Clan Mail, huh? Shut up, you! Thank you. Don't break down. What? In your combat harvester. <laughs> Colchi! That Colchi beach! I, I wouldn't marry her if you paid me in swap! If you promise not to pee in the seat, I'll roll down the window when you can stick your head out and shout all your mad cork stuff at all the Dublin people. Don't forget to uh, open the door. I'm from Buttevant. Well, look at you. Standing there with a the stupid face in you. 
I'd say you're a culture. You're looking to take one of our jobs. Would I be right? Mm-hmm. I'm originally from Bottevant in Cork and I'm looking for a job, so I am like, you know. Hurdy, gurdy, gurdy. Do you mind me asking how I'm supposed to have understood a single word of what you just said? Bleeding immigrants. You're all the same. If you want my opinion, you have the city destroyed. Dubliners are second-class citizens here now. Do you agree with me there, Bernie? They're all the same, Bernie, aren't they? You walk in here with your backwards talk and your corks, the real capital culture nonsense, and you expect us to fall on our knees like we should be grateful, is that it? I didn't know anything about knees. Bernie? Yes, Teresa? Can you understand a word this bitch is saying? Not a word. Fabulous and all as cork is, I suggest you feck off home and come back when you can speak it to English. Comprende? I understand. Bogger. Cool as well. All the same. It's amazing. <laughs> Great. I mean, I don't know what the culture is yeah. in the audience would make of something like that. Oh, Half of them yeah. probably wouldn't have a clue. But, Pat, that's what I believe. Oh, hey! Oh, dear. The greatest drama that ever happened, and this is in my opinion anyway, was a thing eh, called the lawnmower. See, this chubby fella joins a group to raise money, hopefully by playing the saxophone at top speed all the time, for change, and by having a great sing-song for money. And do you see the little chubby fella on sax? Firstly, he was glorious. He was out of his face on chocolate biscuits. And Pat, do you know what happened? Didn't he have a little puppy dog, a terrier? Yes. Uh... Aye. Right. <laughs> And then, do you see, didn't he go and sell the miniature hound for cash? And he bought a more. A lawnmower. The dangers of live TV. More Soupy Norman for you now, and another marvellous episode. Uh, I love my life. <laughs> oh, God. I have a scheme, lads. You don't mind? Nippy enough. Cold one tonight, lads. Soupy Dave. We don't any fish, Soupy Dave, so make this quick. Eh, uh, just that a mate of mine has a job lad of prawns, like, fresh the day they came out of the river. He's a mate, I'd say they'd be well worth your while, like, you know, so... We don't want your prawns, and I repeat, we don't like fish at all. Um, I, I could throw in a few mullets, you know, like, fresh again, like, you know? Again, we don't want your mullets. And, you know, your odour is rancid. Ah, you're always breaking my balls. Here, do you ever taste whale? Whale? The animal from the sea? I don't ask where your cash comes from. You don't have to ask me where I get me whales. At the risk of repeating myself, we don't like fish or whales, but mostly not prawns. You're the biggest pair of bastards, especially you. Now, I'm sorry, but you could move hemisphere and I'll come and find you and offer you a fish, especially you. Hmm, thanks, Ubi Dave. Bye now. See you around. I oh, had a great soup. I love soup. Do you know that? I love you, Mr. Soup. Do you know that? I love you, Mr. Soup. I love you, Mr. Soup. Why do you call it soup when you know it's eggs? It's overdone, you tool. And why do you have to scream at the food always? It gets to me. I've had more soup than all of the elderly people put together. Chicken and chowder and carrot and oxtail and chicken and all that. And the more of it you eat, the more your brains go, I want more soup. Fill me up by my wrong egg soup. Grand. Daddy, I was thinking maybe you should see someone. Um, a professional. Not a shrink, just... I don't know, but someone. A shrink. Uh, just a little shrunken fella that's full of soup who has to be scraped off of all the walls after he suddenly explodes. Ah, uh, Daddy, will you stop it now? Come on. Irish cabs, anyone for the dole office? Get in the boot, you scopes. The take up the 16. Waster. Can I get in? You and Mick, are you? You look like a bleeding Romanian. Get in the back. How much is it going to be, sir? Ah, how much is it going to be? Fuck off and don't be annoying me. Tell you later. <laughs> 